You having stock market problems. I feel bad for you, son. You bought 99 puts and I sold you one. YouTube. YouTube. What it do? It's Little Petty coming back at you guys with another stock market episode. All right, you guys. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about how I turned $61 into $451 in the stock market trading the BYND call debit spread in the small account. So that's the video we're going to talk about. We're also going to go over the market updates. We're going to talk about some plays that we're in right now. And and we're going to give you guys an overall look on the markets. You guys know how we do it. So without further ado, sit back and stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, and comment, subscribe if you're new. And we're going to get into this lesson slash episode. And as you guys know, we like to start off in the stock market, checking out the SPY, seeing what popped off for the day. So as you guys know, you guys have been following my YouTube channel. We've been talking about this. We had that cross up here. We had the drop. Now we had the pop. Bears been getting squeezed off this 1226 cross, right in this 26 EMA. And as you guys can see, today we were down about 2% in the stock market. We had a gap in crap. We're going to zoom in onto the smaller time frame and see what exactly happened. So we had this massive, um, we had this pullback in in, uh, after hours yesterday when we were gapping up. We gapped up and then we sold off and basically they killed them into the close. So that's what happened today. Now let's go ahead and look at, we're going to go to the Q's. We're going to look at their chart real quick. And as you guys can see, the Q's, very bullish. But we have had this uh, pullback today. The uh, the uptrend is, the daily uptrend has finally broke. But we're still holding, we're still on a, um, we're still on the uptrend on the short term. But if you come into the closer terms, so like the one hour chart, we did just get this bearish cross. Everything sold off into the close. If you check out the VIX, the VIX was up 19% today. That's a massive move. So as you guys can see, when the stock market is dropping, the VIX, the VIX goes up. And that's basically what happened. So let's go ahead and look at the market wide, get some visuals. And as you guys can see, it was bloody red, red across the board anywhere you was at microsoft down two percent mastercard everything was red look at the um the dow jones everything was red nasdaq everything was red except for jd was up half a percent and the russell financials got smoked today s p 500 red across the boards so now, if you guys know, it's earnings season. And if you guys kind of look up right here, the earnings for this week are kind of, they're kind of not that, um, they're not that good. So there's not too many big companies. If you guys see any companies that you guys know that are big movers, drop a, a comment. Show, tell me what you guys are watching for the rest of this week. I'm kind of looking maybe at Cisco. I was thinking about playing Sony. We didn't play Sony. Uh, I know Wix is a little bit of a big mover. Applied Materials, Aurora Cannabis, that is a, a, a shit stock and a JD there they're coming up so those are probably the only stocks that I see coming up off of the um, earnings anticipation for this week so it's a little slower week but let's talk about the plays so if you guys don't know make sure you guys follow my my Twitter links will be in the description I'm posting my watch list I'm posting all the plays I'm giving you guys all the information, and it's really for me to kind of, you know, just take track of my part and, and have a trading log. So I like to post my plays over here. I'm posting all the plays. Follow my Twitter. Links in the descriptions. So let's go ahead and uh, this so this is what we posted today. The stocks that we were watching were GWBH, BYND, WTTD, Tilray, Sony, and SPY. Now we're going to go ahead and jump right into... The small account challenge and as you guys can see we got about 1100 in buying power we are holding some plays we will talk about these plays but i do want to go over the 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 61 dollars into 450. so we're going to talk about that play first and then we'll go ahead and talk about the other plays that i'm holding so let's go ahead and jump into this chart real quick 
And we're going to go to the BYNT. And we're going to go to the 30 day, one hour. So, now, this is, this is the day I made the play. I posted the play. And the play was I had bought a call debit spread on BYND May 15th, 2020. The 140 and the 145 call. So we bought the 140, sold the 145 call, and we got it. And we paid a debit of $21. We bought three contracts. So that the risk, and it was for an earnings play. Now the risk was 63 and the max gain was 1500 Now when I took this trade, looking back now, because... If you come to the BYND chart, or if you come to the option table, you can't really find no good play like how I set that play up. Now, when I set that play up, if you look at the chart, we bought it on the fifth, so we bought it pre we bought it pre earnings, and the stock at the time was trading at about no higher than a hundred and two dollars. Now, when I set the play up, it was we're gonna go to we're gonna zoom in right here, so right here this is the uh these are the this is the play that we had so right now if you wanted to get back into this this would cost a debit of 165 now the activity is going to show you right here when we set that play up we did pay the 21 cents and we bought three and then when we sold out of them we sold one for 115 one for 116 and the last one for two dollars and 20 cents now since the stock pulled back today that's that's why the contracts have dropped and when I ended up selling out of this play I posted I posted that I sold out of it every time but the way I was looking at it when I first set the play up I was like okay this is like almost a no-brainer let me go back to this chart this was all this was almost a no-brainer just because I felt like BYND is a is a big mover and then when we got the earnings run up so look, we're going to zoom in so you guys can see. So this is when we bought it. We bought it sometime at this day early. And then we swung trade it. And boom. So when it reported its earnings, it went shot up to the next day. It went all the way up to 126. So that was like, all right, cool. We got a big gain. We're going to end up, we ended up selling um, a few of the contracts, I think on Friday or whatever. But basically, we were going to, we set up the play. And I like the risk, to, the risk to reward. Now, going back and looking, <clears throat> I feel like yeah, I could have probably, I could have probably bought about five contracts. But hey, you know, that's that's hindsight. This is a small account. We're not really trying to put too much equity into these trades because you can lose on these trades. So that was basically the play. We're gonna go over this um, option ch chain real quick. So we ended up buying this 140. And we sold the 145. And this was the fill right here. We bought three of these contracts. We ended up selling out one for 115, 116, and 220. So if you add up 220, 116, that's where you're going to get the, the $450. Now, like I said, in hindsight, the play was like, it was almost a no-brainer, but you don't really know. Because look, what I'm looking at is, it had already had a it had a run up and it was pulling back. Now before earnings, we had kind of bottomed out, and I'm like, okay, we can. This is a this is a big mover. We have seen some other stocks in the stock market make some big moves off these earnings, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a small risk on BYND and end up playing out. And this is actually one of our better trades this year in the stock market. Now the the cool thing about it was when this debit spread was put on. This debit spread, the the um, the percentage profit was actually higher than if you would have bought the naked call. So it was basically saying that the debit spread paid more than buying the naked call, which is like it, it blew my mind. I've, I've never seen anything like that before. Maybe you guys have. I don't know. I, I don't trade debit spreads too often, but I have added this into the um into our toolkit because this has been a profitable trade and a profitable strategy so yeah that's 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 basically the play i don't i don't want to talk too much on it but basically we bought the four the 140 the 145 and we ended up selling out of it we closed out the position today fully the first time we sold it was on the eighth we sold those two got our money back plus a profit and then we held the last one we didn't want to hold it we had three more days but 
You know, I'd rather take the bag and run instead of holding and losing the potential of, you know, 200 bucks of cash that goes back into our buying power. So that was the play. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the plays that we made yesterday and the plays that we made today. So yesterday, we ended up the GWPH. So let's go to the chart real quick. We're going to run through this GWPH. So we ended up buying a call. Let's go to my Twitter real quick. Bam. Well, I don't have it up right now. But we ended up buying a call debit spread right here. We got a fill for $93. We bought the 115 and the 120. Now this was an earnings play. If you guys see right here, GWPH right here. Pharmaceuticals. I'm familiar with this stock. I but as I was trading it, I, I found out that it, it's not really a, a big mover. It's kind of a slower mover. So but what happened was we bought a 115 and a 120. The stock yesterday was trading around 105. We bought the uh, we got filled at it for 93 cents. And they reported earnings. They had a gap up, but they basically had a gap, a gap in crap. Now, the zones, what I like to see is if this is going to continue, it needs to stay in about this upper 25% of this wick channel. Now, when it dropped this morning, so you got to think, okay, cool. So this morning, I'm like, all right, boom. I wake up and I'm thinking, okay, we're probably going to, the spread between here is is $5. So the max gain is, is 5 let, let me pull it up real quick. Right here. So we bought a call debit spread on GWPH May 15, 2020, 115, 120 debit for 93. They report earnings after the bell. The risk is $93. The max gain is 500. And what we ended up doing was we sold out of it today. We sold out of it for a total of $113 profit. So we're going to go to the chart and we're going to talk about this. So if you go to the two day, one minute, you're going to see what happens. So the stock gaps up this morning. It hits a high of 120. We're thinking, okay, cool. If this goes up to 125, we'll probably end up getting the max gain. But what happened was it was a gap in crap. It pulled back very hard. Now, <clears throat> when the stock market opened up, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm watching it. But it pulled back so hard. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to hold it for a second because we know that usually what happens, the stocks will drop and then they'll pop. So as it popped, it came up. I was trying to get filled and then I ended up getting filled on this candle after it made this pop right here in this candle right here we ended up selling out so we got we got a little bit of profit um, we didn't get the max profit I didn't want to hold this either the contracts expired in three days and when you're buying debit spreads it's almost like buying you're basically buying um, you're just buying options you're not selling options so time is not on your side as if you're selling the contracts so that was one of the plays we made yesterday we also got filled on a W call call a uh, call debit spread we spent 116 on it uh, for a max gain of $250 now this stock pulled back super hard towards the close but this stock right here I'm going to show you guys an example of what I mean by when the stock reports the earnings and you see how this one stayed in its upper upper 25% of the first wick and it continues to run so this has just been bull flags after bull flags after bull flags we have finally got a bearish cross, so I might be getting stuck holding holding the bag. But um, we're going to be watching this. We do have 10 days on this play, and this stock is basically just on a massive breakout. So I see the potential that it could possibly keep running up. When stocks break out, you'll be surprised that they just keep running up. So I jumped on a little bit late, but I do have a little confidence in this trade. If not, we will take our loss. We're down right now on that position about 60%. And then um, the last trade that we made yesterday was this Tilray. So we sold. We ended up doing a credit spread on Tilray. We sold an 8.5 and an 8. Now we sold this in the money. And we got a credit of $30. We sold two contracts. So we paid $40 to, to make a possibility of $60. So if we come to Tilray, their option chain, you can see right now we're actually in the money. Tilray stock is trading at $750. So we have three days on these contracts. If not, we're probably just going to cut out on here because we're actually, we're just, <laughs> the stock, the, they reported earnings yesterday and the stock didn't go in our favor. 
So we'll look at the Tilray chart real quick to show you guys what I was looking at. So as you guys can see, we was looking at it right here yesterday. It pulled back, but we're on this uh we're on this little bullish bullish uh, cross. So I'm thinking maybe uh, the play will probably work out not on these contracts, but I'm thinking that I should have probably got some more time on it. But hey, whatever. Risk of forty bucks to make that trade, and the last but not least, I think that was yeah. So that was what we did yesterday, and then today we ended up. So today I'll show you guys what we did today. We closed out of the G GWPH, and we closed out of the BYND, the last one. So we got our credits right there, and then we ended up buying a debit put spread on Boeing. So we're gonna go to my Twitter, and I'm gonna show you guys the play that I talked about. Right here. So we bought a we bought a put debit spread on BA May 15, 2020, 128, 127 for a debit of forty seven dollars. Our max gain is one hundred dollars. Now we um we got news that Boeing had something that was dropping the stock, so we jumped on it short. I also bought a, a naked put option in my in my other account. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So we bought a a 124 put option on Boeing May 15 for $178. Now this trade right now is actually up about 80%. If you guys come to this option table, the 124 right now is trading at $2.60 after hours. So this one might be a good play for us. If Boeing can continue to drop into this 121 range, then we will take our profits early. We are looking to take profits early. Yes, sir. So that's the play. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you guys the play in this account. So we got filled on the put debit spread. We actually have our, our working order to close this out at 85 cents. So we're looking to basically take a, a small profit on that. We want to, um, you know, stick to the strategy. And yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Um, I do want to talk about this Boeing real quick. So if you guys see right here on this daily chart, Boeing has just been hanging out. So when stocks are hanging low, they're more than likely going to continue. I'm um, So like I said, we bought the put. The news is basically in my head that Boeing is going to drop. So we took we took advantage of the play, and that is basically the play on Boeing. So we sold the uh, – we sold – over here we sold the 120 we we bought the 127 128 puts and basically when we ended up trading this the stock was like trading right right at the money so these have already dropped significantly so that's basically how we're taking advantage of putting $47 and then possibly making you know 50% so that's 100% returning your money so this um, these strategies that we do implement these are scalable. So you know if you want to make more money, you just put a little bit more money in. But you always want to make sure you manage your risk. So, but YouTube, I thank you guys for watching this video. I think this one's a good one. Um, make sure you guys like, share, and comment, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you guys follow my Twitter. I'm dropping all the plays, and little Petty is out.